Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Pizza. You haven't heard that one in a while, have you? We are in a brand new season of the Packed Out series and first and foremost, I want to thank every single one of you for showing up every single week for the Super Bowl run that we had. I thoroughly enjoyed that a ton. Now, on to some serious business. We got games to be played, packs to be opened, goals and challenges that need to be completed. We got a whole lot going on in this episode. First and foremost is going to be our challenges for all the guys that have watched this every single week. You know exactly what we're going for the 10 challenges that needed to be completed to open up this ultimate ticket pack. That'll be this one right here. We got to check off our 100,000 money in the bank goal by far. After winning the Super Bowl last week, we got a ton of extra coinage to add. We're all the way up over 828,000 coins for our money in the bank, which is more than enough to be able to check that off. This leaves only one goal for us to complete that, and that's going to be a 20-yard quarterback run. It is clear and evident that it's going to be really tough. Now, just hopefully some way, some how we're going to be able to pull this off so I'm not going to have to spend 50,000 coins to unlock that so we're able to open up the money in the bank pack. In the meantime though we have some really sick packs to open up. For winning the Super Bowl we were rewarded an ultimate legend reward pack. We got the win in the game which is going to give us an all pro pack and for winning the Super Bowl we get a bonus pro pack for this episode. Three of them, count them up, let's get it. We're going to start with the weakest one and then work our way up hopefully getting us the cards that we are looking for, the positions that we're specifically looking for to upgrade our team. The pro pack doesn't seem like it's going to be great. It's not going to be great. Well, let me just go ahead and discard all that. Let's open up the pro pack. We get a left guard to start it off. We're probably not going to use him. There's a bronze uniform, which you're not going to use. The silvers and bronzes aren't helping out at all. We got an alternate uniform, but we have some sick customs that we've been using, so I don't see us putting that to use that much. A gold corner, none of this is going to cut it for us. These packs are crap right now. But behold, the biggest pack of them all, which I'm pretty sure we're guaranteed an ultimate legend player. I'm really excited to open this one up. I'm hoping that we get somebody that's over 90 overall. I don't know if the other ones are possible to pull, but the moment of truth is, oh, okay. Not bad, not bad. As you guys are seeing though, as the weeks move on and on, it is getting very difficult to be able to pull good enough cards to add to our starting lineup. But if you just look back, tell me if I'm wrong or not, but isn't this crazy that we built a squad like this out of only opening up packs? There isn't a single card that you see in this entire lineup that we've gotten from the auction block. Today's weekly goal is going to be coming in from the Blazing Raven, telling us to score a touchdown from our own side of midfield. If we can pull this off, we get an extra pro pack. And you guys know that I like opening up packs. So we're going for it. Let's go ahead and get into this game, man. Let's get this game underway. We still got our white uniforms for the Desperados. I want to pull out those black ones so bad you guys have no idea. A fair catch to start it off. All right, this guy must have a little bit of confidence in his offense. We'll see if he can hold up against our stellar defense. Or at least on how it has been performing over these past few months or so. The first one, the run. The, oh, no, no, no. What is that? It would also really help if we were able to get tackles right away and not but okay very good i'm looking out for the same exact play that he just tried to pull off it's gonna be the same play there's no way how do we do that how does it happen oh we got coverage almost everywhere except for the one guy that he throws it to oh boy i did forget to mention before we got into this game that it's been around two weeks or so since i played an online game so you guys are gonna have to fare with me at least for a little bit until i can get my mojo going again quick hike we're on jj watt oh good swat very nice from the legend and that forces a fourth down where at least right now it seems Seems like he's gonna kick the field goal. The question is, will he actually do it? Yeah, he's actually gonna kick the field. No, 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 no. Oh boy, that's unreal. I feel like Pro Slice is gonna take this football. He indeed is gonna take the football. We're there to stuff it up. Dude, why can't we tackle anybody? Their guys are literally running us over. Crap. So we just ended up giving the dude a free extra four points. I mean, we really haven't got to test out our offense. I feel like he might've got a little bit lucky on a few drives with some broken tackles and Here plays we that worked in his favor a little bit better. That was a handoff, a counter handoff, and I just got sacked. Just makes a ton of sense, game. The Speedy Amir Abdullah in on third down, and we're gonna have Y Robinson. D oh, he came down with it. That's a nice catch. We're gonna have the receiver out on the out route. There's another first. Let's see what we can make happen out of this play. This one, Marshawn Lynch. Get out of the way, boy. You're gonna get ran over if you keep stepping in front of him. As a matter of fact, how about we give one to him? We just pulled out the halfback draw. We've been passing the ball a lot, so this play should work a little bit. And the two minute warning's already here. I feel like this game is blazing by. Oh, there's another hole that's open. Now a chance for me to press. I pressed the wrong button. Wow. That could have been really bad. Woo. Let's run it right, man. Look at all the open room. There's no way that this 
play isn't going to work. Get the lead block. There's Mars John Lynch. And we read the defense correctly for our first touchdown of the game from Beast Mode. Just let me slam that one in the back of the net real quick. And it's tied up. Now maybe a chance to get an interception. He's going to go over the top. Hit him and don't let him catch it. Come on. Oh, man. Then he hits us with a pitch the very next play. How do I miss that? This is getting embarrassing. Oh, boy. We'll go ahead and give him his stinking three points. I'm not too worried about that. So our offense has been fine. It's our defense that we really have to worry about. It's kind of like they flip roles. Normally, our defense was the one that's been keeping us in games and stuff. But this time, we might have to just rely on our offense a ton. Random question. Let me know what you guys think. There are still a few positions on our team that I wouldn't mind upgrading. I want you guys to let me know which position would you like to see upgraded the most and which player that you would like to see us pull to put in that position. You can do it however you want, you know? It can be some crazy ultimate taken player that you would really like to see or it can even be more realistic, you know, a 90 plus overall elite card that would really fit into that position well. If I had a choice, if I could say there's one guy that I would want the most, needing the linebacker position probably most out of any of them would be a Ryan Shazier. You know, one of the best user linebackers in the game. He's out of Pittsburgh, so we're representing, and I think that he would be the perfect fit to almost throw a pick. No, but for real, I think he would be a sick fit for our team. And I'm really glad that defensive lineman had sausage fingers or else he probably could have taken that one to the house. Shall we give this guy a taste of his own medicine? Yeah, why not? But we better hurry up though. Oh crap. With only one second left, we get the playoff. We're gonna do it pretty- Oh man, that probably shouldn't have worked. I think it's time for Allen Robinson to come down with a high point pass and he dropped it. Oh man, this game's getting interesting. And there we go with our three points. We're tied back up. I know this guy's probably gonna come out in halfback wheel a lot, so that's that's the play that I'm looking for. Leonard Fournette and his entire team cannot be stopped right now. Come on, defense. You need to do something good. Just one good play for us, and we can completely turn this game around. Hell, is that not a sack? I feel like I find myself asking that question way too much. Way too much. Here comes the halfback wheel. I know that it's coming. He's going over the middle. We put a guy on him. No. Come on, Marshawn Lynch. The halfback counter. We run into our own guys. Why don't you start running people over like Fournette is? We're back to our similar scenario once again. Am I going to be the guy that chokes the game, or am I going to be the guy that that steps it up whenever it matters the most. We're gonna find out right now, right here. And as of now, the flat route's open, so we're gonna have to take it. I'm sorry. Then again, am I really though? The halfback screen, we haven't done this in a while. It's gonna work. I do feel like, though, I should be substituting in Amir Abdul a little bit more often, especially on plays like that where he has a bit more speed than Lynch. But it works, so it's all gravy. One minute and 48 seconds. Robinson should be open. We're going to call it. We're going to throw it. He's open indeed. And um, this guy got to be a little bit scared. No, we got the ball in scoring territory. We're running the ball with Lynch. The clock's ticking down. He ain't using his timeout. Is he crazy? No, for real. Is this guy stupid? Does he know that I could just kick a field goal and win the game? I don't know what he's doing. I don't understand understand his strategy, but this might be one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Here we go, Marshawn Lynch. We're gonna run it. We're gonna pick up 15. He still isn't calling timeouts. It's a tie ball game in the fourth quarter with a minute left. You have three timeouts. Why are you not calling them, dude? Like, you're making me mad, and I'm the one that's going for the win. I don't understand. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Um, maybe Emmanuel Sanders right here. If he comes down with it, that's a dumb animation, though. I guess I gotta kick the field goal, right? Just boot it through the uprights, take our three points, and hope Hopefully our defense is able to step it up where we're able to take a victory. What a game so far though. It's time man, there's only 30 seconds left. Let's see if we can have our user skills, our defense, something. JJ Watt takes it to the house and just like that, it's game over. Incredible. Oh my goodness, and here we go, Russell Wilson. Tell me that this is a 20-yard quarterback run. That's definitely a 20-yard quarterback run. Oh, tell me that we got it. I swear to you guys, I would be more happy that we got that 20-yard quarterback run than the actual win itself. If we got that, do you guys realize that we're going to be able to open up an ultimate ticket pack for next week? It's time to check this out. Did we pull it off of the 86 overall base elite Russell Wilson? We're going over to rushing, and Russell Wilson has 22 yards. That had to be it. That had to be, right? Hold on, there's actually one more way to confirm this. If we go over to our highlights the last play should be at least a 20 yard run it's a 25 yard run that was a 25 yard run that's amazing we get to open up an ultimate ticket pack for next week oh am i excited about that i can't believe it. i swear to you guys i thought that the quarterback run was going to take us months to be able to get i honestly didn't even know if we we're going to be able to open that up before madden 18 came out that's how nervous i was getting about that stupid challenge that might have been one of the greatest unexpected plays that we've had in this packed out series look forward to next week guys if you're looking forward to see the ultimate ticket play 
player on our team. It's going to be insane. I'm so excited for it. And way to ruin the hype. The camera just died. Uh, hold on. We're back. Get ready. Get excited for next week. Let me know down in the comments below on which alternate ticket player that you would like me to pull. Whether if it's one of your favorite players or a person that's going to fit really well onto our team, let me know your number one guy. As always, I'm your boy Pizza. What a great start to a brand new season. It's about to get hyped up in here. I want to thank you so much for supporting the Packed Out series as all... Hold on a second. Let me redo that. I want to thank you all so much for supporting the Packed Out series. As always, don't forget to keep God number one. And until next time, I'm your boy, and I am out. Peace out, guys. Deuces. You guys see my phone right here? A lot of you know I've been working on a lot of magic tricks and stuff. This is one of them. It's called the levitating phone trick. Watch this. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty sick, huh? Oh, crap. Wait, I need to cut that out.